Tonight, a local health care workers union says it's planning to fight to reverse layoff notices at Care New England hospitals. News of the layoffs was first breaking on WDPRI.com this morning. Iowa News News reporter Jared Kleiner joins us now live from Women and Infants in Providence with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Mike, with about 6,500 employees, Care New England, one of the largest private employers in the state of Rhode Island. Layoffs at Care New England tonight, the lion's share at Providence's Women and Infants Hospital, but also at Kent, Butler, and the system's VNA. Executives declining to say how many cuts or to even ballpark it. The union local saying it doesn't have a grand total either. Care New England does acknowledge the layoffs are broad and at all levels, including administration. It started yesterday. It's being completed today. It's just about done today in this wave. Does wave mean more to come? We're hoping that we'll have a chance to digest and process what we've done and move on, but we'll have to see what happens going forward. This all comes as Partners Healthcare of Massachusetts says it wants to acquire Care New England. Care New England says the slimming down is work it had long needed to do, having lost about $14 million in the last three months of 2016. Mark Antano calls it a perfect storm. A less reproductive age women in the state, right, which is resulting in a decline in the number of births which is resulting in a decline in inpatient neonatal care. And then on top of it, we're getting decreased reimbursements for a number of reasons. SEIU Local 1199 slamming the layoffs. Instead of reducing important staff positions, Care New England should review high-priced administrative costs. CEO Dennis Keefe has paid $1.4 million per year, according to recent IRS tax filings. If Mr. Keefe paid himself only $1 million, roughly $500 per hour, and other high-paid administrators took a modest compensation reduction during these financially challenging times for CNE, many, if not all, of those announced layoffs could be averted. Now, executives choosing not to respond to that theory when we sit down and ask them about what the union had put out. Care New England, by the way, says it has a May 1st job fair plan to see if there are other Care New England positions for those who have been laid off, if those people are, in fact, interested. Coming up new at 6 o'clock, new reaction to these cuts. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, Jared Platter, Eyewitness News. We have new reaction at 6 to the layoffs announced today by Rhode Island's second largest hospital group. The job cuts at women and infants and other Care New England hospitals was breaking this morning on WPRI.com. Iowa News reporter Jared Pliner joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the new details. Jared. Mike, one of the state's largest private employers insisting tonight it has done its best to avoid impacting patients. Layoffs at Care New England, hardest hit Providence's Women and Infants Hospital. Executives refusing to say how many pink slips. The union local saying it doesn't have a grand total either. Women and Infants leadership tonight can't say there won't be more cuts. We're hoping that we'll have a chance to digest and process what we've done and move on, but we'll have to see what happens. This happens as Partners Healthcare of Massachusetts moves to acquire Care New England. CNE insisting, though, the cutting had been coming for a while. The system lost over $50 million in the 15-16 fiscal year. A decline in the number of births, which is resulting in a decline in inpatient neonatal care. And then on top of it, we're getting decreased reimbursements. Statewide births dropping from 2012 to 14 before turning up in 15 and then dropping last year. SCIU Local 1199 calling on executives like CNE President Dennis Keefe to take pay cuts. If Mr. Keefe paid himself only $1 million, roughly $500 per hour, and other high-paid administrators took a modest compensation reduction during these financially challenging times for CNE, many, if not all, of these announced layoffs could be averted. And tonight, the Raimundo administration hinting for the first time that it views this partner's deal favorably, writing the layoffs underscore CNA's need to, quote, get its fiscal house in order by partnering with a stable health care system. Outside Women and Infants with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Jared Plenter, Eyewitness News.